in this video, I'm going to show you how to count unique values in Google Sheets. I'm going to show two different methods. One is just using the count unique function. The other is using count if and unique. Um, count unique is just going to count um, the unique values in your sheet. Um, by combining count if and unique, you're going to return the unique values and then count how many times each value appears. Um, so there's a little bit of a difference in what each function is going to return. Uh, the first one, count unique. This just counts your unique values. So the syntax of this formula is very simple. It's just count unique and then the range that you want to count. So you can use this with a range. You can use this with multiple ranges by just adding them on. You can use this with strings in quotation marks, um, strings within your range. So it works on both numbers and text strings. So I'll just show you how this will look. Um, so count unique. And then what I want to do is select my range here. So I'm just going to go from here. And then my data is down to 101. So I have 100 rows of data. And in that 100 rows, what this is saying now is there's 65 unique values. So there's a bunch of repeats. And at the end, there's 65 unique values in my data. Um, so that's count unique. It's pretty simple to use. Um, the other one, if you want to return the unique values and then return how many times each value appears, what you want to use is count if and unique and array formula. Um, so what this is going to do when I run this function is it's going to return the unique values and count the number of times each value appears. So this can be a lot more useful depending on what you're trying to do. And this is what the formula is going to look like for my data. Um, I'm doing it on the same range as in the last example. I have 100 rows, A2 to A101. And so this is the formula. It's combining count if array formula and unique. So what count if does is it returns a count of the number of times data appears within my range. Um, array formula is going to allow my data ret to return and display across multiple columns and rows. And then unique will return the unique values and get rid of duplicates. Um, so I'll just show you what this looks like when you do it. Um, so let's go to equals, and then this is my formula. So it's unique array formula, and then within that, a count if, and then another unique. And so you can see here's all the unique values in this column, and here is the count of how many times that unique value appears in my data. So this is the same data set as the other one where I had 65 unique values. So you can see it goes down to 66 because I have my header row. So it returns all the unique values and counts it. So it does this because um, it runs unique. So it returns the unique values. And then there's an array formula that again allows this to spread out over multiple columns and rows. And then a count if, which returns um, the count of the, um, the times each unique value appears is how that ends up working. So if you want to uh, copy this formula or read more about this, I'm going to place a link to the blog post in the description of this video. Um, it takes a little bit to get this, but it's pretty simple. Uh, one thing you want to make sure is that you do have these curly brackets here that's going to make sure your data returns properly as an array. Um, but that's pretty much it for this. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.